Right, welcome to 100% LCFC TV. I'm joined today with Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV. <laughs> How are you, Robbie? I, I, I'm doing a little bit better than you, I suppose. Today. Yeah, uh, well, because uh, obviously yesterday your guys uh, sneaked. Uh, well, it wasn't really a lucky win. I'm not going to call it a lucky win because you did pummel us for most mm. of the game in lots of ways, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was a. First of all, I've got to say it was a great game. Really fantastic game. Um, and I thought that the first half, I thought was pretty even. Um, although I'd say, I'd have to say you guys had the best chances. Um, Vardy's header, um, where uh, yeah. Petr Cech made that world-class so. save. Yeah. And then he had to make another great save from Kante when, when he curled it in. Yeah. Um, but then I felt the second half there, we were like on the ascendancy. And then of course, you know, once you went down to 10 men, <laughs> it was a bit like the Alamo. Uh, it was. Once, but, yeah, we got that first goal and we could have had a few more. And, I, and again, Schmeichel in your goal. Yeah, fantastic save. Some worldies, yeah. you know, which I mean, we've seen a lot of that recently down at the Emirates. We had Fraser Forster the other day from <laughs> Southampton pull off about eight in the game. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was thinking, ah, oh, it's going to be another one of these games where we just can't break down the opposition. But eventually Danny Welbeck came up with a, a massive goal for it. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Nothing beats a last minute winner. <laughs> I know, nothing like that. He's been out, what, for nine months? Yeah, it's, and it's a great story. It was, it, it, you know what? I, I've had the, I've been lucky enough to meet him and do an interview with him. Yeah. He's such a nice guy. I mean, I, genuine. Even like uh, when I did the interview, the, the people around the club, they said, you know what? This guy, of all the players here, he is the most genuine footballer in his club. He's, he's always got time for everyone. So I was really, really pleased for him because I know he must be... <laughs> Devastated being out, you yeah. know, and but it was for us. It was a massive goal. I, it must have been deflating for Leicester. Oh, we were, I mean, we were hanging on. I mean, let, let's get to the the Danny Simpson second yellow card. In your honest opinion, do you think that was a booking or not? I mean, I, I do. Yeah, do yeah. I think. I think. Listen, I think if you're already on a if you're already on yeah, a, um, a yellow card, right? How stupid is it to try and pull somebody back? You know, I mean, if somebody's running through. And you've grabbed them by the arm and you're trying to pull it back. If there hadn't have been a yellow card, that's a yellow card, isn't it? So it's got to be a second yellow. I mean, yeah, they, I think the reason why it might have looked harsh is because the referee, I thought, who had a poor game. Yeah, it was. He let, he let you guys be really, really physical in the first half. I didn't give anything. We so, want to know what happened at half time with the ref because the first half he was well on our side. Yeah, I, I'm just thinking to myself that did he think to himself, oh, did I get that penalty decision wrong? Yeah. Did I? Did and, and so he sort of thought, right, you know. It's but I have to say that in the the, the letter of the law, it's a it's a yeah, it is a, it's a, because if the, if it had been done in isolation, yeah, I think that would have been a booking. I mean, it would have definitely been a booking because any time a player sort of running away. And you grab them, and you either pull back their shirt or you grab them by the arm like that. I think that is, I think that is a booking. So yeah. no, fair enough. I mean, I mean it's, 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 it's stupid of him, really. like he'd let his teammates down. I think he realised that he shouldn't have done it. Yeah, it's, it's a bit like the one the other day when we when we had a man sent off against Chelsea when Murtasaka got sent sent off. Yeah, I thought that Costa dived, but I still blamed Murtasaka because I'm like, you know what the players like. You know that you're the last man, right? It's so early in the game, so you're stupid to even attempt yeah. that. So sometimes, as a, I think, as a footballer, you've got to realise your 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 situation. You're on a yellow card, and just think to yourself, "All right," because yeah, I mean, Giroud wasn't even. It wasn't like he was running through on goal or anything. Yeah, so no, I couldn't understand why he did it. Talking of decisions, our, our big Polish guy Vasilevsky, we were like, "What?" He just came <laughs> bombing out in the 94th minute. It's just yes. don't go there. We we know what he's like. He's hot headed, and that's why he, he looks like a he looks like a a, a bright lump. <laughs> I mean, when he came on, I was like, look at the size of this guy. He's a he's like he looks a like a looking guy. <laughs> he's he is mental, but and he just had a rush of blood there. I think he was yeah. excited to be on the pitch. Maybe, maybe he's the, the you know he doesn't play regularly. I don't know, but um yeah, that was a, he could have been sent off as well because he actually put his hands yeah. In his face. I also think uh, Danny Drinkwater as well got away with one. He, yeah. he had like a two-footed... A little bit high, wasn't it? On um... I can't remember who... Was it, was it on Ramsey? Yeah. Because yeah, obviously with his broken leg a, a while back, he was... He yeah, was yeah. About it. So he, he got away with one as well. I mean, I thought the referee allowed it to be a little bit too... 
earlier, maybe that would have cooled everybody down a bit. Yeah. In the second half. But, um, yeah, I've, there's a lot of incident. I mean, I, I, the penalty... Listen, I'm, I'm, at the time, I was kind of blaming the referee and saying, looking at it again... Yeah, um, that was a penalty. I can't blame the referee, but I must say Vardy. I mean... He buys them. He went over, he went over like, a, you, you know, I mean... He died basically. Didn't if you if you if you're a defender and stick your leg out, he'll run halfway across the box to get over. It. <laughs> That's what he does. And you know what? Listen, like, you can't blame Vardy for doing it because everybody else d- does it. And as a matter of fact, right, it's one of the things that I get a bit I get a bit upset with our players now because I feel that sometimes we're a bit too nice in that position. So guys like Alexis, you, you, you know, he'll get like tackles on him and he'll still try and run and still try and instead of trying to buy the buy the foul. So. Yeah. At the time, I was really angry. When I sort of look back on it in reflection, I'm like, you know what? Most other players would have done that as well. But it is a dive to me. I mean, there's a lot of thought in Leicester that Claudio Ranieri is this. He's he's almost a comical, happy-go-lucky guy in his interviews. But I, we think he has actually behind closed doors. He puts in that Italian mentality of you know maybe just pushing things just a little bit further to get a bit of advantage if you can. You know, we go in. The way we hunt people down, we put two or three players around everybody. You know, if you can buy a penalty, let's get one. You know, there was a few times where we were just playing old-fashioned football. Like, there was Wes Morgan and Hooth just booted it out. I don't know if you yeah. noticed that. It's just like, I'm in danger. If in doubt, put it out. And we don't, we don't try and overcomplicate it, I don't think. No, listen, I think Claudio Ranier is a genius. Um, number one in that he's got everybody, or I think he's had everybody fooled that, you know, he's just as happy-go-lucky. Yeah. yeah, Leicester, we're just having fun. Yeah. But I think now that teams are like, and managers are now realising and saying, hold on a minute, yeah. he's smart. I mean, how he sets his teams up, the formation. I mean, I was chatting to the guys that are on uh, the Liverpool channel the other day. Yeah, right. And they were yeah. saying to me how impressed they were with Leicester and their formation when they played them. So almost surprised by it. Yeah. I, I think that, you know, Ranieri, he's a very smart manager. He's been around the block. He knows how to set up his teams. I mean, defensively, I thought you were excellent yesterday. Where's Morgan? Where's Morgan's fantastic. He's unbelievable, that guy. I mean, that block he did on, I think it was Welbeck. Yeah. And and several other things he did. I mean, you know, he, it's a proper team. It's a, you, you know, the way you guys... Well, that's, that's all a big compliments coming from Arsenal, obviously. So, um... no, no, it's, 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 listen, um, I thought that when we played you, when we when we actually beat you 5-2. Yeah, another great game, by the way, wasn't yeah. it? And, I, and, I've, and I've always, uh, you know, all throughout the season, I've been saying Vardy and Morris, for me, those two are the real deal. Yeah. But the guy that really, yesterday, that I, I looked at and I thought, my God, this guy. Yeah. Maybe we should put a sneaky bid in for him. Oh. The summer was Kante. Apparently, apparently you did look at him, Robbie. Yeah. I mean, we look at everybody. <laughs> I know you do. You never put your fingers in your wallet and get by. You him. know what? He is some... Pl- I mean, I was, first of all, I was shocked at how small he is. I've, I've met him. He's, he's, he's smaller than me, Robbie. He's about five yeah. foot four. He's tiny. But does he get... I mean, he's like a makalele. He gets around yeah. everywhere. And he's got a bit of skill to him and he can play the ball. What a talented player he is. You're going to do really well to hold on to him in, oh. in the summer. If, um, win, because win, they, 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 the Hawks are going to come for him for sure. Yeah. I say if we win the Premier League, Robbie, we'll keep them all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know what? Possibly, listen, I can't see our, um, Leicester... Listen, anybody can still win it now, right? But I yeah. can't see how Leicester can't get in the top four at this stage, right? It'd have to be a complete disaster. And if you're in the top four, I think those players will want to stay. That's amazing for us. You know, I think those players would want to stay. But why would you want to go anywhere else when you're going to be able to continue the adventure and, and play yeah. in Europe against your Barcelonas and teams like that? So I think right, the only way I think the only way those guys' heads will be turned is if if it's um. You know, you don't get in the Champions League. And at this stage, I, I, you've got to get in the Champions League from the top. I mean, you're the top of the league still. So. The league, 12 points clear. It probably should be your year, two Robbie. Points. Hold on. Two points clear, not 12 points. No, 12 points clear of Man United in fifth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, th- Robbie, thank you very much for joining us. It's been brilliant no, listen, to have you on. Pleasure. And, uh, as I said, it was a, it was a fantastic game uh, yesterday. It was, yeah, it was and, actually. It was uh, a great game. I really, really hope that you guys finish second and Spurs finish third and we win the title. (laughs) But I'm still scared of Leicester. (laughs) We'll see, Robbie. Thanks for joining us. Cheers.